Hi, I'm Chris Lunsell here for theclothes.com. In this video, I'm going to give you seven surefire ways to get listings without cold calling. Listings are worth their weight in gold, especially when inventory in your local market is tight. But cold calling, it's tough and it's not for everyone, which is why having some strategies to fill your listing funnel without cold calling is so important. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We'll be posting new insider strategies every week and you're gonna wanna stay in the loop. Also, if you're looking for more great advice, make sure to check out the guide all about getting more seller leads. It's on our website. We've got a link below in the description. Okay, let's get to it. Strategy number one, offer free personalized property valuations. The question on just about all of your potential sellers' minds, something they want answered before anything else, is what the heck is my home worth? Public trust of automated systems like Zillow's Zestimate is eroding fast. So offering free, quality, personalized home valuations is a great move. And you can market these through ads on platforms like Facebook and Google. It's going to get your phone ringing in a hurry. Strategy number two is offer a housewarming party in exchange for referrals from your past clients. Now, we all know that you're not allowed to pay non-licensed people like your past clients for a direct exchange, uh, you know, for like a referral, but you can still incentivize these people. My favorite way to do this is to offer a co-host of a swanky housewarming party for any seller that they refer, because these folks are gonna have to buy too. You supply the food, you supply the drinks and the party supplies, and they supply the guest list. This way, everybody wins. Your past client gets to be a hero to a friend of theirs, you get a new client, and you get a house full of potential leads that you can work into converting to new clients in the future. Strategy number three, target divorce leads. Now, divorce is a sticky situation for many making it an important opportunity for real estate professionals to serve those going through it with quality advice and good service. You can create ads on places like Facebook to target people in divorce situations. Direct them to a landing page that you set up with some sort of lead magnet, like an ebook about handling real estate situations in divorce and then get anyone who downloads your resource onto an automated email drip. This way, when it's time to make the call, this is a warm lead who already knows you. Strategy number four is identify neighborhoods with high churn rates so you can target them with direct mail. Now, many of you may not be ready to invest in a full-fledged real estate farming operation, and I get that. It's a little pricey and there's a lot of cold calling involved. Instead, start by identifying neighborhoods in your local market that have a high churn rate. Inventory, it turns over fast here, so direct mail marketing is more effective than it would be otherwise. This does take a little bit of research using your MLS to determine which areas are the best candidates, but if you direct 15 minutes of your day to searching for these neighborhoods, you're gonna have some great target areas in no time. Strategy number five is attend for sale by owner open houses. Guys, don't ever miss a chance at direct invited interaction with someone who has raised their hand and said, I wanna sell my house and I wanna sell it now. Fisbo open houses are a great way to get to know a property, to get to know the property owner, and to deliver your listing presentation light for them to review later. If you stay at one of these open houses for 30 minutes and you can convert one out of every, say, 10 that you visit, well, that's a new listing for just five hours worth of work, a huge hourly return on your investment. Strategy number six, is develop a niche expertise. Consumers don't wanna work with just another realtor. There's tons of those out there. They wanna work with the expert in whatever they're selling. So use things like social media 
or content marketing or any advertising position to get yourself in a place where you are the expert in a particular niche. And there's tons of options out there. Golf course homes, uh, waterfront homes, condos, second homes. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I bet you there was a niche in your market that I didn't name that you know about. When you are known as the person to go to in a particular niche, people are going to start, well, going to you. And last but not least, strategy number seven, give away your best advice. Now, this strategy is a content marketing play straight up and down, but trust me, it works. Put together an ebook of your best strategies for successfully selling homes. Don't worry, I know what you're thinking. You're not giving away your competitive advantage here. In fact, you're increasing it. This valuable resource that you put together would be so helpful for someone who's trying to sell their home on their own. But once they get into it, they will tell very quickly that without the experience and the connections and the market awareness that you have as an expert, executing these strategies just isn't feasible. This book shows people that they need you. Get someone's lead information in exchange for the book, start them on an automated email drip, and then when the time is right, you can swoop in, make a call to a warm lead, a warm lead who, by the way, is confident in your abilities because they know you are the expert. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tell me about your listing strategies in the comments below. I want to hear what's working for you in your market. Don't forget, check out the link in the description to the article we've got on theclose.com all about getting more seller leads. And of course, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so we can let you know whenever we've got new content perfect for upping your real estate game. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thank you.